Yeah, and so as we jump into this, Sam, and we're going to talk about this Vikings team. Did they get better? Did they get worse? And, and here's where I go. Center, we're going to throw Garrett Bradbury in there. Uh, when you look at guards, I think that's the question mark. That's been the question mark, and we're not going to know until we get to uh, training camp for sure when we start to see this offensive line in full pads, guys going out with the ones primarily. Then people will start to talk, okay, well, this is the ones. But then, you know, you got the first two preseason games, you get an idea, because then three, you know, now when you look at that third game, it's like, okay, well, who's resting? Who's not dressing? That's probably your starting offensive line. Then you move over to the receivers. We already know what they were going to do with that. Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, you got quarterback Kirk Cousins, you got running back Dalvin Cook, you got C.J. Ham, you got Irv Smith Jr. So offensively, the only question, and then you got your tackles, we know um, O'Neal and uh, Darisaw. So offensively, they were kind of set. It was really just the guards. And I honestly, and and again, maybe I'm just uh, ignorant to this, but I feel like a new system, a coach that's willing to help the offensive line by allowing the quarterback to get out of bad run plays, bad pass plays, uh, when your guards and your center is compromised, not just running the play. You know, like if Aaron Donald is is head up on your guard and he's one-on-one and you're like, uh, this is probably not the best time to run this play, you can check out and run a tall sweep or something just to get away from Aaron Donald. Um, you know, Akeem Hicks, we saw that numerous times where he just was bullying the center and guards. Um I feel like that can change defensively. You know, cornerbacks, Patrick Peterson, you got Shannon Sullivan. Uh, you know, you add Daniel Hunter back now. He's healthy. You bring in Zadarius Smith. Uh, you still have a DJ Wanham in there. You still have James Lynch. Uh, you add a guy by Zezi Atamewu out of Minnesota who can be kind of a, a move guy. Uh, linebackers, you got Kendricks. You got Hicks. I mean, I, I feel like, and then safeties, I think you added Lewis Seen, which is a huge piece. Where I go with this is I think they've gotten better because you added a safety. You got the corners with um, Andrew Booth Jr. uh, And then you also grabbed the guy out of uh, Missouri. And then you grabbed Shannon Sullivan to be your nickel. Uh, I I truly believe they've gotten better. Um, From an offensive standpoint, they've gotten a new voice, gotten better. Defensively, they change. Now, change doesn't always mean better, but I think you're not going to see the same stuff you saw last year. We we had... um, uh what's his name was on the show and he talked about because he played for uh Ed Donatel, Daryl Reed. And he said you can expect mm-hmm. a lot of movement. You can expect a lot of you know stuff. He's gonna he's never gonna look the same. He's gonna try to confuse the offense. That's what we want. We know Zimmer did that, but now you do it from a different look. So honestly I think they have gotten better. How much better? I mean we'll have to see. Yeah, because a lot of those new players that they did bring in, they exchanged a player from last year's team. So they bring in Harrison Phillips, great pickup. They lose Michael Pierce. You know, you bring in Shannon Sullivan, you lose Mackenzie Alexander. You bring in Lewis Seen, and and you you think you're going to rely on Cam Bynum, but you lost Xavier Woods. Um, Anthony Barr, gone. Jordan Hicks in. So you really exchanged a lot of these players. But by default, Ron, it's hard to get a lot worse than the defense was last year. I think it was 31st in points allowed. It was bad. or Maybe it might have been yards. 31st in yards against. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> I mean, if you just show up on Sundays and roll the dice, you can probably luck into a better result than that. So you've shuffled the deck. You've got new voices and some new talent on that defense, and you're just trying to get to that league average mark. Offensively, you're basically the same. You know, you've got Irv Smith healthy. That's a, that's a good thing. You still have questions on the offensive line. That's not great. I still have questions about that. So you've basically got a similar-looking offense. Does the new voice, does shuffling the, the voices on the offensive coaching staff, does that better the result? I think that the biggest hope for this Vikings team is that new leadership brings the most out of their talent. Um, and they got to stay healthy. And, and we're never going to know that until the regular season really gets underway. Yeah, and and from a leadership standpoint, you know, Quasey, you know, we talked about that, my conversation with him, uh, talking to some of the scouts as well. Um, I feel like even that's changed because they, everybody, and I love what Quasey said. He said, yeah, we're different. I love hearing that. He said, we're different. But does that equate to wins? And I think that's the honest answer that a lot of people want to hear. Like, yeah, we're different. We're we're younger. Uh, our mentality, our culture is changing. Just like PJ Fleck, you know, change the culture but does that equate to wins? Uh, and, and, and the Gophers' grand scheme of it, they've gotten there. They they had some some big wins when Tyler Johnson, Rashad Bateman, 
And now it becomes a question for the Gophers. Is it because of the talent? Is that what made Tanner Morgan great? Great receivers made him great. Or was it the offensive coordinator, Kirk Shiraka? So, you know, you really just don't know which pieces, you know, make a great meal. You know, when you cook a great mm-hmm. meal, you can have a great looking meal, all the stuff you know you want, but then there's something missing. I think that's what the Vikings have to figure out. What What's missing in this ingredient, in this in this recipe to make this a great meal of a team, to make this a dominant team, a team that people are scared to play in the playoffs um, and don't want to come into U.S. Bank Stadium. They don't want the Vikings to have more. Like when you, when you have that, when your crowd's involved and your crowd's excited because they're, they're excited about the team, I think it all goes together because people, you know, Eric Kendrick's mentioned that before, like, you know, they feed off the crowd. And, you know, oh, when, when it was quiet, it was tough, you know, without fans in the building. You know, I think that all kind of is going to resonate and become like a final piece to the puzzle was Kevin O'Connell. And maybe that's it. Maybe not. Like I said, we could be looking at the next Brad Childress where people are like, oh, kind of good, but uh, can he get it done? Hmm. We'll never, we'll never know until we know. And that's what I leave with. I think they've gotten better, but we're never going to know until we know.